I'm Jeannie Burnick with Top Producer Magazine. I'm here at the 2010 Corn College with Missy Bauer of B&M Crop Consulting. So Missy, you were just talking in your presentation about how nematode pressures on the uptick. Tell me why you think that is. Oh yes, when we talk to nematologists around the Corn Belt, uh, the, the rule of thumb is and the, the thought out there is that nematode pressures are on the rise. And some of the reasons for that we believe are due to the more corn on corn acres that we're seeing. So we have much less rotational crops now than what we did in the past, which will help with the building the nematode pressures. We also see that there's less insecticide used today, especially things like organophosphates and some of those uh, different chemicals that we just don't use as much as we used to uh, before. And the other thing is just more transgenic corn. If, as we have more of this traded corn, we're not putting as many insecticides on either. And then the third thing being uh, just even less tillage. So more no-till acres are certain nematodes that kind of thrive in that non-disturbed soil. So those are some of the things that we think are causing the increase in nematode pressures. You also mentioned some tools that farmers can use to uh, watch for nematodes. What, can you list those for us? Yeah, some of the tools that we suggest they use, they can look at their spatial information to try to find where the areas and fields are, things like yield maps. NDVI, which is aerial imagery, and then the real, the real thing that's going to help is going to be actually some nematode sampling, where they go in season and pull some soil and root samples and send them into a lab and have them analyzed for nematodes. That's going to be the only way to know for sure. Great. Thank you.